was about a full minute where we heard nothing but rip, tear, shred, crash, etc. Glenn Riggs is a principal at Henryville Elementary. He was inside the school with about 80 other students and teachers when two tornadoes with winds as high as 175 miles an hour came roaring through this small community of 1,900 people. There was this giant vacuum. You can probably describe it atmospherically, but it was some kind of decompression. Skin felt like it was going to be pulled off your face, ears popping, and then just crash, boom, bomb dropping, whatever, just noise unbelievable for about a full minute. When he went outside, he saw it looked like a war zone. The school was destroyed, the buses were crumbled, and he knew a bus driver and a first grader had barely survived the deadly storm when they got off this bus. Sally Riggs is a school librarian. She says everyone in the school was frightened when the tornadoes barreled through, but luckily, no one was alone. Every child had somebody to hold on to. Thankfully, no one inside the school was seriously injured. Principal Riggs says he hopes the school will rebuild soon, but this time, he says the school must have a basement so they can follow the warnings and get the students to safety. This Marathon gas station right off the Interstate 65 exit in Henryville was demolished. A semi-trailer now sits on top of the station, the gas pumps are overturned, and the station store is in rubbles. Sean Singh operates the station, and he says when he heard the severe warning sirens, he didn't really take them seriously. We're warning to people, just hide a place, you know, find a hiding place. I don't take serious. I try to be safe my business and I just hold it and I few seconds I hold it then it's like boom like it, some bomb explosion over here you know. He locked the front door hoping to keep the massive wind out but unfortunately that didn't work and his station was destroyed. I just closed my eyes to save my eyes you know so when I open my eyes I see totally be ground zero. <laughs> Only one person was killed as a result of the tornadoes in Henryville, Indiana. However, 33 other people were killed throughout southern Indiana and Kentucky. If you'd like to make an immediate donation, you can do so online at redcross.org or at catholiccharitieslou.org. Everyone in this small community echoes the words of Sean Singh. I'm so lucky, yeah, and thanks to God. The principal here at Henryville Schools tells me that more than 1,200 kids won't have school till after spring break. The question, of course, is where will they have school, because rebuilding of the school will take years. I'm Jonathan Dunn, reporting from the tornado devastation in Henryville, Indiana.